is a big breaking story which we're getting you here on uh, first up uh, it's been a project uh, that indian navy has been uh, proud of visuals on your screen are of scorpion submarines six of them have been commissioned indian navy has boasted that its scorpion submarines have superior stealth features but now there has been a massive data leak which has hit the indian navy leaving its soon to be commissioned submarines are terrifyingly exposed and vulnerable alarming reports have emerged in the australian media that over 22000 pages of top secret documents detailing highly classified stealth weapons and sensor capabilities of india's new scorpion submarines have been leaked this information could be available to adversaries as well the australian media on its part has redacted uh, the sensitive information india is a building friend scorpion submarine at mumbai's musgaon dock uh, with the first of six such submarines to enter service this year while the defense ministry has said it is seized of the matter and will be making a statement shortly the data leak is a massive massive scare for india's national security principally because of the terrifying implications Gaurav Savant, the executive editor of India Today, is uh, joining us uh, at this uh, moment. Gaurav, first take us uh, through what are the implications uh, because uh, this leak is set to compromise on India's national security. There is a fact-finding body that has already started its work both in France and in India. Uh, there are investigations underway. Sources in the Ministry of Defence saying this is extremely serious, and they want details from uh, uh, you know the ship builder, the submarine builders, uh, the Scorpion submarine. Builders at this stage, we do not have details. Twenty-two thousand plus papers, according to Australian uh, uh, newspaper, they have uh, leaked. What are these twenty-two thousand papers? We still do not know. Now, India today hasn't accessed these documents, but the report seems to indicate that some of this pertains to sensors, underwater capabilities. armaments and all of this is extremely extremely serious because this is the main stealth capability of this weapon platform it's an underwater weapon platform extremely potent and six are just initial submarines that the indian navy is looking at there are many more so october is when the induction starts and if hmm. if this is true and the extent will only be known uh, in the next several hours and days then this is extremely grave especially given the condition in pakistan and china all right got to be with us let's take our uh, viewers through what exactly we have at this moment information trickling in as we are talking uh, uh, to you and getting our defense experts also lined up india's new subs are 100% vulnerable here's why because tell that allows submarine to hide that information has been leaked secret sensor data has been leaked classified sound data acoustics data has been leaked and also top secret weapons data has been leaked so we have underwater signature sonar data which has been leaked all this which makes uh, submarines a uh, uh, valuable asset for any defense forces this is the data that has been leaked the leaked uh, Gaurav continue to be with us and also joining us uh, in the newsroom is uh, Jugal now Jugal take us through this the specifications that have been leaked what is the ramification the first reaction that we are getting right now from the defense minister jugal uh, the probe is being ordered gorov just told us about it as well but now what is the next step because uh, we are looking at induction of the first scorpion submarine as early as october so does this mean specifications may have to be changed because this leaked information could be in the hands of enemy as well Uh, well devina the fact is that the specifications cannot be changed uh, the submarine was supposed to join indian navy in 2012 it is still not in it means just how complicated how difficult the task of building a submarine in house is so answering your question changing of specifications is actually easier said than done in fact it is for the specifications that you actually choose the submarine and the scorpion was selected hmm. so answering your question okay. it's going to be next to impossible to change anything right now Uh, Devina but what makes this issue extremely scary is not the fact that the Australian press has reported about it and that this company has leaked 22400 papers the fact is and that's what we don't know is just who all 
and how significant are those who all these characters who are, who've seen this document because it has traveled to Australia out after uh, traveling yes, through many yes. hands in Southeast Asia. Did the Pakistani intelligence know about it? Did the Chinese know about it? Did the commercial uh, people who've seen this actually pass it on for a value? Because this is data worth billions and billions of dollars. India is spending three billion US dollars to build six submarines in-house. Devina? Well, and it's the data which is under restricted scope in India. That's the report uh, which the header was restricted scope in India, where the data was leaked. Gaurav Savant continues to be with us. So Gaurav, as the probe is being ordered, we were talking about it uh, by the defense minister now. Now the focus will be on where the information leak happened because the Australian media is also reporting it could be from uh, the French as well. So at this point of time, uh, there is already a tussle because media reports seem to indicate that the French have reassured the Australians. Australia Australia is also looking at these submarines and the French have reassured Australia that the leak hasn't happened at their end. They are saying that the leak happened at the India end. That's the allegation. They are saying that data uh, in France is secure. Uh, is that actually true? Did data leak from, uh, from France? Did data leak from India? That remains to be seen uh, given India's poor track record. If you recall, there was a war room leak uh, in which, uh, you know, uh, middle level Indian Navy officials uh, were involved in leaking commercial data about ships that India wanted to purchase, uh, you know, commercial uh, specifications. Now, in this case also, uh, one of the senior Navy officers I spoke to, he said, let's not jump the gun just as yet. We do not know what kind of specifications have leaked just as yet. And, and uh, while it's extremely grave, let's wait till the time there are more details that are available and then we can make an assessment. As far as, uh, you know, the adversary is concerned, India knows details of, of, of the pa Pakistani submarines, of the Chinese submarines. Uh, you know, all countries are in the business of knowing what the enemy is doing. So it is a grave setback to India. At the same time, government is saying, let's, let's wait and watch till we have more details. Well, got to be with us because according to some media reports, it's also being suggested that the data on the scorpion was written in France for India in 2011 and is uh, suspected of being removed uh, from France in that same year by former French Navy officer. Jugal continues to be with us here in the newsroom. Jugal, uh, we also have a statement uh, from uh, the French company DCNS. Take us through it. Well, Devina, what we understand from the DCNS, this statement which hasn't really been attributed or given to us, but we found it in the open source. This statement actually talks about, this is the statement, it says that the matter is a serious one pertaining to the Indian Scorpion program, which is a clarification which was of course required. And, and if we can just scroll up further, this is what it says, that the defense security will formally investigate and determine the exact nature of the leaked document. So there's nothing much except the fact that the French, in a sense, have admitted to this leak and they're saying they'll also investigate the same. But the question still is, and that's where the problem is, I've been speaking to a range of uh, officials who are concerned with the submarine, its delivery, its program, its construction, and they're saying that what they've seen in terms of the documents which have been put out in the in the open domain remember there are 22,400 documents we're talking about not all of them fortunately so are in the public domain but what they've seen they're saying is sensitive stuff and because it's that sensitive it's it's that sensitive the, the 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 aspect is and as i was again pointing out we do not know just who all have actually gone through these papers which agencies which in which countries perhaps inimical to india's interests have already gone through these documents the there's also another side to it, which All is right. the commercial side, Devina. Well, well Jugal and Gaurav, we also have Vice Admiral A.K. Singh, who's uh, joining us uh, at the moment. Uh, Admiral Singh, your first response uh, to this uh, information that is coming in, that there has been a data leak in the top project of the Indian Navy. Yeah, whatever little I've been able to uh, read about this from, the, from Google, it seems to be a fairly big disaster and uh, uh, something which uh, should not have happened. As to who is responsible is not important. The fact is that a lot of uh, classified data has been compromised. Saying no uh, doubt, uh, Admiral Singh, there has been a probe that has been uh, uh, constituted right now by the Defence Minister this morning. No doubt that this is a massive information leak that could compromise India's defence forces as well. I agree. It has uh, totally. It has been a, a huge, huge compromise and. You know, uh, whoever our enemies are sitting in Islamabad and Beijing uh, must be fairly satisfied with it right now.
Rohit here. I would like to put this question to you. There are many quarters which have very often expressed reservations. The French built submarines not just for India but also for Pakistan. And it was this data security that the Indian policymakers were relying on, this, this so-called sacred relationship of not divulging one to the other that India was relying on. Do you believe, sir, that this is going to have or rather cast a long, a deep and a dark shadow over Indo-French defense, defense ties because we are negotiating them for the Rafale and there are n number of systems that India and France collaborate on? See, Jugal, there are just a couple of countries who make these submarines or fighter aircraft. Uh, France and Germany make submarines and Russia makes submarines. I don't think... So really speaking, you know, it's a option choice. We just have to go to one or two and then select the best out of them. So uh, this is uh, one of those things where this leak has taken place. As to it doesn't matter who's leaked it, whether it is the French Navy captain as per Google or it is somebody else. The fact is a lot of classified data has gone out and a fair amount of damage has been done. Uh, whether you There are only two or three big arms manufacturers in the world. Uh, so if you keep blacklisting firms here and there, you will finally end up with nobody. Just one final question. I, I have been trying to uh, you know, put together a picture about just what has taken place. Uh, the report that is out in the public domain says that there is a likelihood, a strong one at that, that this leak actually took place somewhere in 2011 by a French contractor who was a part of the DCNS. In that eventuality, sir, do you not believe that it was incumbent on the DCNS organization to inform the Indian Navy to keep the MOD in the loop and not keep it in the dark and made to react like this after five long years? See, quite frankly, whatever I can read from Google, it was a French Navy captain, retired French Navy captain who was working for DCNS, not a contractor. I believe it was a French Navy captain who was working for DCNS and who left DCNS in 2011. Now, why the, whether the leak took place in 2011, whether it took place in 2016 or earlier, I really don't know. But the damage has been done. Now, whether the French should have informed it, all that is fair enough. This is highly relevant. But right now, I think a lot of damage has been done. And I really hope uh, our people have uh, some idea as to how to mitigate the damage. Just, just one one final question, sir. Many people are asking us this question. You are a submariner and you're the best place to clarify it. What should India do given what has taken place, given the fact that what you were building for so long, for about 10 years almost, and what was to stay for the next 40 years, most of the details are out in the public domain. What should the Indian Navy and the Indian nation do now about this project? No, look, the details which have come out on the combat management system, the details which have come out on the uh, noise uh, or the electronics, etc. You can't change them. They work. Each one of them is costing four, five hundred million dollars. They are brand new uh, pieces of equipment. You can't uh, remove it. If you want to remove it and change it, you will take another ten years. Because the submarine is built around these systems. So, really speaking, perhaps the only thing we can do, not with the present submarine, uh, which is uh, which is undergoing trials, Calvary, maybe not even with the next two or three submarines which are completed, but in the next, uh, perhaps in the fifth or sixth, we should see whether we can get, improve the stealth of those submarines to get the radiated noise figures below what has been leaked, uh, less than what has been leaked, and there are and uh, then improve these submarines when they come up for major repairs. <laughs> Okay, Admiral Singh, appreciate you joining us uh, this morning and sharing your views as well. Jugal continues to be with us and Gaurav is also with us. But before that, let's take a listen to what the Defence Minister had to say on this big story. The first step is to identify. The second step is uh, to identify what is the extent of unwarranted. But it's not all 100% because we do have our final integration. What I understand because the IK, it came to my knowledge at about 12 o'clock yesterday night. What I understand is there is a hacking. So we'll find out all these aspects. Okay, we continue following this big story. Let's take our viewers once again uh, through what exactly has been the information that has, uh, has potential of coming out in the public domain because Jugal, the Australian media has redacted bits of uh, this information but it could go into hands of our enemy so this is what we know at the moment stealth that allows submarine to hide has been leaked also you have the secret sensor data that has been leaked
you also have uh, other uh, important uh, uh, installations in the submarine like classified acoustic sound data that has been leaked and let's not forget the top secret weapons data now essentially Jugal, this is exactly what makes submarines so crucial for any defense forces that's why it's an asset now if this information has been leaked like vice admiral ak singh was saying the damage has been done so how do we look at our defense preparedness right now vis-a-vis -vis our submarines? Well, first and foremost, uh, Devina, the submarine is yet to join the Indian Navy. The Indian Navy is operating about 13 odd submarines. All of them are extremely old, they're aging, and that's the reason why perhaps we need the Scorpion extremely desperately. Six of them are being built. They're not yet a part of the Indian Navy. Uh, but just why does the Navy need a submarine? The Navy needs a submarine because it, it gives you, it lends that, that aura of invincibility. It lends that aura uh, of being extremely difficult to find for the enemy. Now, what this data leak actually does, and that's where it, it harms India so much, is that it tells the enemy, it tells anyone who's interested in finding out where the Scorpion submarine is of the Indian Navy, where in the Arabian Sea, in the Indian Ocean, in the Bay of Bengal, it tells the person just how to find a submarine. It tells you the frequencies that you have to listen to. It tells you the parts of the submarine where you have a conversation to monitor happening so that you come the to submarine, know. Even if a conversation is happening on board a submarine, our enemy could hear that. So combat capability of India is being compromised. A big question here. We continue talking more about that.